We turn now to a new report about a whistleblower in the intelligence community who was so concerned over a White House promise made to a foreign leader, he reported it to the Inspector General. That story coming from the Washington Post now prompting calls for an investigation. ABC News' Rachel Scott is in Washington with the very latest. A mysterious whistleblower complaint sparking outrage from Democratic lawmakers on Capitol Hill. At the center of it, a concern from a member of the U.S. intelligence community filed with the inspector general. The details confidential and still unknown to the public. But ABC News has obtained a series of letters between the Office of National Intelligence and Congress, which confirms the inspector general deemed that complaint from the whistleblower as, quote, of urgent concern and one that might require notification of Congress. The acting director of national intelligence, Joseph McGuire, not appearing to be on the same page, though. Those letters also show McGuire, after consulting with the Justice Department, disagreed that the matter was urgent and concluded his agency was under no obligation to forward it on to Congress. But House Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff says the director violated the law by not passing it on within seven days. Schiff outraged, calling it a cover-up and issuing a subpoena to the director for the information. No director of national intelligence has ever refused to turn over a whistleblower complaint. Schiff will now have a chance to hear from McGuire next week. The acting director of national intelligence will brief Congress. Ahead of that open hearing, lawmakers had a closed-door meeting with the inspector general this morning to discuss the handling of that complaint. But a new report by the Washington Post alleges President Trump is at the core of it. Something he said in a call with a foreign leader, a promise he made that was seen as so troubling by officials in the U.S. intelligence community that they, that they registered this complaint. ABC News has not confirmed that Washington Post report, but the president has taken to Twitter to call it fake news, saying no matter who he speaks with, his best interest is always the United States.